Here we have a cell of constant electromotive force. Constant EMF law, what it means. Oh, you may be wondering, Miss, the EMF can change one. Ah? Well, yes, over time it could change. Because EMF depends on your chemical uh, energy. So if your battery run out of... I don't want to say run out of chemistry, but run out of chemical energy already, oh, then your EMF will decrease. Oh. But usually, we don't want that to happen. So in experiments, you'll try not to have a changing EMF. You want to keep it constant. So here, we're keeping it constant too, for simplicity's sake. So we have an EMF, E, for that battery. And it drives a current, push the current out through an external resistor of resistance R. PD, oh, in this case, V is our what we call our terminal potential difference. Yes. What you measure at both ends of the terminal. So if you connect, low, you put a voltmeter like that. Connect to here and here. Okay. So now what they're asking is, the internal, when the internal resistance increase, ooh, internal resistance increasing, that's not good. So this is increasing. What is the effect on the terminal potential difference and on the current through the circuit? Think about this for a moment while I label this. Take a bet. Which one will you choose? A, B, C already. Write it down. Pause if you need more time, okay? So, this is how we can think about the effects of internal resistance. Firstly, internal resistance, when it increases, it increases, it can cause a number of things. Firstly, that means there's more lost volts. So more lost volts, that's one effect. Oh, I should do this. More lost volts. Because more energy will be lost already, ma. now your internal resistance is so big, so it will get very hot. Energy lost as heat. So more lost volts also mean um, your terminal potential difference will be, will be lower already. So terminal potential difference is now lower or smaller. So that means our V here will decrease. So decrease, decrease, ah, this one out already. So it's either A or B, decrease. If you're wondering why you decrease, le, well, because remember we looked at that, 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 that equation just now. Your EMF is your um, terminal potential difference plus the, what you call that, the lost volts. So if you have more lost volts, your E is the same. So this thing have to decrease oh, because you are losing more and more. Ma. Okay? Or in other words, an easier way to remember this perhaps would be your original energy you have minus off everything that you lost. So the lost volts is what you measure at both ends of the, t of the battery. Yeah, this is the idea that governs this thought. Another effect you want to think about is the current. It does affect the current too. When you increase internal resistance, it means the current has more to fight against when it's trying to move in the circuit. So your current is going to decrease as well. So you have a smaller current because of larger total resistance. Because larger total resistance. So these are the two effects you'll want to note down somewhere. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking a bit. And then, from there, you look, hmm, V decrease. I also decrease. So, the answer should be A in this case. This is when uh, the small R is changing. Internal resistance is changing. 